Hallelujah. And what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. We are the people of God. Called by his name. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are his people. We are called by his name. And the enemy is under our feet. We are not just conquerors, but we are more than conquerors. Because of who we are and where our names are written. Oh, taste and see, church, for the Lord, he is good. Let's give him a praise, for he is good. He is good. <laughs> he is good. Can I get a witness today? Has he, has he brought you a mighty long way? Has he lifted you up and put you on solid ground? Did he raise you out of the miry clay? Did he brush you off? Put on a crown of righteousness and proclaim you as his own. Hallelujah. We are the children of God. Called. Washed. Set apart. We are the children of God and not here to just be ran over but we're here to dominate hallelujah crown with glory and honor here to have dominion dominion I said dominion we're here to dominate I don't know about you I'm not I'm not here to be ran over, but I'm here to do the running over. Because the devil is under my feet. Give him a praise, church. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Dominion. To win and not to lose. To be victorious and not defeated. To conquer and then to conquer some more. <laughs> oh, do you know what I'm talking about today? <laughs> to win daily in the name of the Lord. Do you know the name, church? Do you know the name? I mean, do you really know the name? <laughs> we can whisper his name. We can shout his name. We can proclaim that name. We need to use that name. And we need to bind the devil up when we get up in the morning. Bind him at noontime. Bind him in the evening. Bind him before you go to bed. And all day long, <laughs> keep him bound up in the name that is above every name. The name of Jesus. Jesus. The name of Jesus. That's the name. That's the name. That is the name. Let's celebrate that name right now, church. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> we celebrate the name of Jesus. Do you know how to celebrate? Do you know how to shout? Do you know how to jump? Do you know how to dance? Do you know how to stomp? It's the name of Jesus. We celebrate that name. The name that has been given to us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for giving us the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We give you thanks. Hallelujah. 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 Fabrication. Fabrication. 
Look past, says the Lord, the fabrication of the enemy. Look past what you see. Look past that that you might hear. And look to the truth, which is me. For the fabrication will get you nowhere, but it will pull you into the trap of the devil. But look to me, says the Lord, for in me is victory. How do you look to me? Some may ask, says the Lord. You look to me by faith. For you are to walk by faith and not by sight. Look to me by faith. And you will see my success that I have achieved for you. You will walk in this success. And it will become your reality. Only reject the fabrication of the devil and walk by faith and dwell in my success that I have already won for thee, says the Lord of hosts. Let's give him a praise. Hallelujah. Can you grab hold of that by the Spirit today? Thank you, Lord God. You got to look past the fabrication. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. <laughs> oh, my God. My God. My God. I thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Church, many times, what you see and hear is not reality. Anybody know what I'm talking about? It's a fabrication from the devil. It is a temporary lie that you are dealing with. It is temporary. And if you will walk by faith, you're going to get through that temporary lie of the devil. And understand that even while you are looking at it, it is a fabrication and it is temporary. It is a lie from the devil to get you discouraged to get you all upset, to get you mad at God, to get you frustrated with life. It is temporary. Blow through that nonsense in the name of Jesus. Walk by faith, not by sight. And God says that your success is still there. It's already been won. And you just got to get through the temporary fabrication of the devil and get on with what is real. Oh, give God praise if you understand. And get on with what is real. What God has already established for you. Church, we could do a 50-part series on the fabrication of the enemy from the start of this ministry to current day. Make that a hundred part series. And yet here we are. Do you understand? <laughs> yet here we are. Amen. Amen. You are in a good spot. You are in a wonderful spot. Let me proclaim to everybody within the sound of my voice, all is well in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. All is well in the name of the Lord. And so if you are in the Lord, say it with me, all is well. Well, what about this? What about that? Walk by faith. And if you are in the name of the Lord, proclaim it with me. All is well. We walk by faith not by sight. And if you are in the name of the Lord, say it with me, all is well. I'm trying to get it to register with you today, <laughs> to sink in today. If you are in the Lord, say it one more time, all is well. 
Can you believe God at that level? But I got this going on, but all is well because I'm in Christ Jesus. And he's already died and rose for your success. So all is well. Because I walk by faith. And the devil's a liar. And fabrication is temporary. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hear me today and let the peace of God go throughout this sanctuary the situation and how God did not step in and stop the Hebrew boys from going into the fire now could he have done that? yeah He's God. He could have prevented the test itself. He could have prevented the mess itself that got those boys thrown into the fire. But he did not. Instead, he waited. He allowed them to go into the trial, into the test, into the situation. He allowed them to go into a scenario where they face certain death. But I'm here to tell you today, that that death, that, fat, that, that, that fire, that whole thing was a fabrication. How do I know? Because Jesus showed up and what looked like certain death disappeared, went away. The Lord showed up and he brought them up out of that fire at first. Can you say amen? Do you understand today? Some of you going through things today, you're in it, and the Lord is going to show himself strong on your behalf. Let the Lord do that for you, amen. Amen, let him show up. Let him bring you through the fiery furnace. <laughs> let him show you his stuff for you. So if you're going through it, I'm here to tell you today, all is well. You're in the Lord, all is well. And he's going to show you his might and his power. And you're going to have a testimony. Do you want a testimony? Do you want a testimony? Hallelujah. All is well. All is well. Walk by faith. The devil's a liar. It's a fabrication. Hebrew boys tie it all together and give God a praise right now. We got it. All is well. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. What are we talking about today? Combination of all that. Amen. Everybody say it with me. Prayer tips for more results, part two. On prayer tips for more results. Last Sunday was part one, and we pick it up today where we left off. Let us open our Bibles to the Gospel of Matthew and the sixth chapter, Matthew chapter 6, and we will begin with verse 5, the gospel of Saint Matthew, the sixth chapter, beginning with Verse 5, and we find the words of Jesus himself teaching on prayer. Here's what the Lord had to say. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray 
standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets. <laughs> Everybody say that next line with me. That they may be seen of men. How many of you ever known a, sh a, a show off before? In, in any area, just not in prayer, in any area of your life. How many of you like the showboat? Don't you just want to, you felt like, just sit down. You want to say that to the show off? Just go sit down. When we were acting up as children, my mom used to tell us, now you need to go find the nearest corner and sit down. Other times she would shorten it and she would just say, go sit down. <laughs> the showboats. Here Jesus is talking about those trying to show out in prayer. And it's very interesting, the next thing he says about that, he says, Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. They got seen by man, they have their reward. Can somebody say amen? amen. The Lord continues, verse 6, he says, But thou, when we pray, go into your closet. And we covered all of this last week. And when you've shut your door, pray to thy father, which is in secret. And thy father, which sees in secret, shall reward thee openly. Amen? Amen? He continues, verse 7. He says, but when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them. And I love this last part. He says, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of when church before ye ask him. Mm, chew on that for two seconds. Wow. Take a look at verse six. But thou when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. When you shut the door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which sees in secret shall reward thee openly. Church, you notice that he says to pray to the father. Amen. Father God in heaven, I come. Heavenly Father, I come. In the Lord's Prayer, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Jesus letting us know that we are to pray to the Father. Okay, and, and here's why. Uh, Brother Andre, you want to pull a chair up here, one of the big white chairs? Now, when we go to the throne and understand that Whenever you pray, even though physically we remain here on this earth, spiritually, our voice, our presence is before the Lord. Amen. Now, David made an incredible statement. He says, I will enter your gates with what? So we enter the gates. So that lets you know when we go into prayer, we're up there. Amen. We are entering the gates of heaven when we pray. Are you following me? Yeah. And that's why it's important you don't go to sleep when you're praying. Amen. I need to look at everybody now. See those prayers, Father. I th thank you, Lord, for the day. <sighs> you're not entering the gates. You're bumping all into the gates. <laughs> you half sleep trying to go up in there. <laughs> I will enter your gates. So we, we come through the gates with thanksgiving. Let's just... David let us know. I mean, when we pray, we really go someplace. 
you go into heaven. The Bible's not lying. I'll enter your gates with thanksgiving. And then, once you go through the gates, what do you go through next? Say it again. All you that don't know, say it. <laughs> courts. And then we go through the courts with what? Praise. So he says, hey, when you pray, you go through gates of heaven, you go through the courts, and then you get into the throne room. So this is real. Now, once you get into the throne room, Brother Andre, will you sit on the throne for me? There sets the Father. Tuck, you be the son. <laughs> Deacon Jim is on the right hand side of the Father. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> so you go through the gates, you come on up into the courts, and you come into the throne room where Jesus says, when you pray, pray to who? The Father. the Father. The Father's on the throne. Jesus is on the right-hand side. Now, why this is so important, church? The Lord's role, the Lord Jesus Christ's role, and I'm going to give you a hint. The word starts with the I. His role is to do what? And who is he interceding for? for us. Yeah. So, if I come, Gary, you represent the Christian. So the Christian comes in. Wait a minute. Now you went through the gates with Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. Come on through. Come on through with Thanksgiving. Yell it. Yell it out. Ah, yeah. There you go. You get through the courts with praise. Okay, now Deacon Williams, go ahead and, and, and kneel. Okay, now if you're kneeling, standing, whatever, I need everybody to look at, look at Deacon Williams, he's representing you. You got Brother Andre, who's representing the father. You got Bro uh, Deacon Tuck, who's representing the son. This is the scene every time you pray. You see it? This is what happens. Give God a praise. You, 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 this is it. So Gary, nod like you're going to sleep. I see, see how bad that is if you, you're going to pray. <laughs> Man, can't stay awake. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, all right. Okay, yeah, okay, stay right there. Good. Now, he's in a good position. He's wide awake. So when we go to the Father, we go with respect. Amen? You go with respect. You're, you're going in front of God himself. And, and understand that any time you go to the throne, there's millions, trillions, billions, who knows, other people that are up there praying too. Amen. And there's probably people up there with a lot more serious situations than yours. So the prayer closet, this is a serious thing, isn't it? And you have the attention of the Father, and you have Jesus who hears what you're saying, and guess what he does? He joins in with you, and remember I, with, say it with me, intercession. He is your high priest who knows and understands what you're going through. Why? Because he's been here on the earth, alive and well, walking it, experiencing it, just like us. And so he intercedes with you. So it's no longer just you praying. The one believer turns into two because Jesus joining with you to intercede to the Father 
on your behalf. Amen. Everybody got it? So Jesus says, pray to thy father. Say it with me. Pray to thy father. One more time. Pray to thy father. All right. So we come to the throne. We come with respect. We come with thanksgiving. We come with praise. We come and we focus our minds. Amen. Many times people will, will get into the throne room, they'll start praying, and their mind goes someplace else. And then a few minutes later, oh yeah, I was praying. Okay, get yourself together, focus, and stay with concentration when you pray. Everybody following me? Okay, Gary, put your hands, really show them how to really focus in, get into it, quiet yourself. All right, I'm talking to the creator of all the universe. Let me respect him and let me talk to him. If you're emotional and you're crying, okay, you're crying. But at least through your emotions and, and, and whatever else, make sure that you're focused on the Father. Amen? And then the other thing that you want to do when you're in this position, make sure that you believe. You got to believe. What does the Lord say about coming to the Father with no belief? You're just, it's not good, church. You got to believe. So focus and have your belief that you're really talking to God. And he's really hearing you. And Jesus is really praying with you. And believe that whatever you're talking to him about is going to happen. That he hears you. You got to come with thanksgiving. You got to come with praise. And you got to come with faith believing. You got to come focus. Come awake. Don't be falling asleep. Don't be thinking about your girlfriend. Don't be thinking about the ball game. Don't be thinking about food. Don't be thinking about money. Focus! Can you give the Father your undivided attention? Amen. Give him praise. Your undivided attention. Amen? And then when you're done, Gary, give God praise, stand, rejoice, and walk back out. And your ex. Amen. Give God a praise. Thank you, Deacon Tuck. Thank you, Andre. Great job. Everybody got it? We pray to the Father. That's how you do it. Isn't that simple? All right. Now, it is important to understand that the Father hears it and the enemy tries to make sure that the things that we ask for or, or the things that we're involved with, he tries to make sure it doesn't happen. Has anybody experienced that before? So it is important that you understand, and I'm going to piggyback on the word that God spoke to us this morning, the fabrication of the enemy. The lie of the enemy. And the lie and the fabrication, the enemy can bring it right into the physical, natural realm. This is why we say it with me, we walk by faith and not by sight. Before we purchase this building, in the process of starting out, trying to purchase this building, after a Friday night service, how many of you re respect elected officials? Amen. Amen. <laughs> On a Friday night after church, again, this is before we purchase the Safeway property, the city council person 
of the east side of Tacoma. Everybody say, ooh, yeah, big time. The city council. He sits in the council of the city of Tacoma. His word is gold, isn't it? <laughs> he met me on a Friday night outside of my office. And he looked me in my eye and he told me, Pastor Harris, you will never, and he pointed across to this building. He says, you'll never get that building. You will never buy it. He said, I'm going to block you. I'm on the council. I'm going to make sure that you do not get that building. You'll never own it. They'll never sell it to you. It's not going to happen. Now, I had options at that time. <laughs> Option number one, to go back to my Portland days and deck him. <laughs> it wouldn't have been a good choice, but it was an option. Not all options are good. Amen. How many know I could have did that? Yeah, I could have laid him out. Now, we didn't choose that option. Amen? Amen. I could have got into a verbal argument with him. I could have went toe to toe. But instead, I chose to be quiet because I've already entered the gates with thanksgiving. I've already gone through the courts with praise. I've already gone to my father with my high priest intercessor and talked about the whole thing. So there was no need for me to get into an argument with him. He said all that he needed to say. And I knew it was a fabrication. I need you to hear me. It was his reality. But as Christians, we have a higher counsel than the counsel that's made by the hands of man. Is anybody hearing me today? Do you believe that? We have a higher authority, Christians. Now, well, does, are you saying to break every law? No, I'm not telling you to break any laws. All I'm telling you is that Regardless of what man says, you still have a higher court. You have the court of the Almighty God. And remember, you walk through those courts with praise, and now you've entered into the throne room. And I take his word over man's word 365 days a year. And so I just listened to the city councilman because I understood that that was a fabrication. God said this building belonged to us. That's what God said. Had we purchased it yet? No. Had the sale gone through? No, we hadn't done anything yet. It was just in the talking phases. But what God said, that's what's going to happen. You walk by faith. You do the things that you're supposed to do. God's word, what? It cannot come back void. Do you believe that? Everything he said was a fabrication. Now, at the moment, it seems like it's, it, it looked like the truth. You'll never get it. You'll never have it. You'll never buy it. This is coming from the city council person himself. In case you didn't know, the very building that he said we would never get, you're sitting in it right now. Yeah. Fabrication! Let me give another example. Pastor Garrett and, 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 and Miss Patricia, their Spirit of the Lord Ministries. Now this thing got really wild. They're expanding their ministry up on Hilltop. And people in the neighborhood went crazy. 
and rose up. And one of the local news channels out of Seattle came down, filmed it. Folks all on camera, faces all twisted up, saying all types of stuff. And I, <laughs> I mean, energy was high, and all the energy was negative against Pastor and, and, and Miss Patricia's ministry. I'm watching it on news. And as I'm watching it, you know what I said? I said, this is all a fabrication. Now, Pastor, what planet are you on? I'm on planet heaven. Amen. Oh, you don't hear me, church. See, too many Christians keep everything just down here on the earth and, 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 and what people on the earth and the physical circumstances just, ah. Oh. You got to stop that. And understand that whatever comes, you're a Christian. You got heaven to go to. Stop the freak out dance when stuff hits you in the natural. Panic. Some of y'all middle name is panic. So you got <laughs> you got to get away from that. We hear the next and, and 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 we do. I met with Pastor Garrett. Pastor Garrett came in cool, calm. Sit down, talk, piece of cake. All of that stuff that was going on was a fabrication. The news channel, the neighbors jumping on camera, acting crazy. After it showed on TV, I went online and looked it up. And guess what? They were still on there acting crazy. Just protesting and all this stuff. In church right now, Pastor Garrett, Miss Patricia, their ministry is strong and well up on Hilltop. Yeah. Repeat after me. I will not get caught up in the fabrication of the enemy. Instead, I'll believe what God says. By faith, by faith, and more faith, I will believe what thus says the Lord. Amen. Give God a praise if you understand. Don't let the fabrication of what you see, hear, feel rock your life. Hmm. Instead, stay on course. I know what God said. Say it with me. I know what God said. Say it again. I know what God said. See, Pastor Gary and I, we knew what God said. We knew what God said. When all that stuff broke out there, I did not send out a massive email. Oh. I didn't call a whole bunch of folk. We're on Como News. They land Pastor Garrett out on the news. <laughs> Spirit of the Lord Ministries is in trouble. No. We gave God praise for the victory. <laughs> he gave God praise for the victory. Oh, if you understand, come on, church. You, you got to understand me today. We serve a mighty God who is over the fabrications of the devil. I'm trying to save a lot of you from stress today. I'm trying to save you from worry. I'm trying to save you from sleepless nights. I'm trying to save you from headaches. I'm trying to save you from anxiety pills. I'm trying to, trying to save you from all that stuff. Pray to your Father who is in heaven, who already knows what you have need of. Watch him work. Join in with him. Not against him. Not believe in the devil. But join in with the Father. And watch your victory come to pass. 
and watch it come to pass. God is with you. And he's for you. And what you got to do is not get caught up into the fabrication of the enemy. Everybody got it? Let's give God a big praise. Hallelujah. You can't get caught up in that. We got to hit one more point today. John 16 and verse 23. John 16 and verse 23. Jesus says, And in that day you shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, everybody out loud with me, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. We ask the Father in the name of Jesus. Ask the Father in whose name? Jesus. We ask the Father, he says, in my name. There's a clincher for you. We ask the Father in his name. We go to the Father in prayer, and we ask in the name of Jesus. And as we're waiting on the Lord, we do not allow fabrications from the devil to derail us. Fabrications are temporary. We've given you two examples today. Powerful fabrications. One from a city councilman of this neighborhood. Another from the neighbors, and it actually showed up on a big time news channel and was posted on TV. If you saw that, any human being without taking it into the third heaven would have thought, Pastor Garrett's ministry up there will never happen. That's how powerful that news piece was. But as powerful as it looked and sounded, I'm here to tell you today it was a fabrication. It was a trick and a lie from the enemy. And God blew it away. And that ministry is alive and kicking on the hill. If you understand, give God a praise. All right, the final thing today is for all of you that want prayer, that you will not get caught up by the fabrications of the enemy. And instead, you will focus and remember what is real is what God said and what he's doing. I want you to stand. We're going to pray. Oh, the sight realm can be terrible looking. How we feel can just be yuck. What we hear can be, ooh, But so many times, it's nothing but a fabrication. Nothing but a fabrication. You believe God with me today. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for your word. And God, we thank you for experiences. We thank you for allowing us to walk through all the opposition, including the one from the city councilman of our neighborhood. God, we thank you for allowing Spirit of the Lord Ministries to go through what it did on the hilltop so that we can come here today and give you thanks with personal testimony saying it was all a fabrication and what you did for Spirit of the Lord and for TCC. We give you thanks. And so, Father, right now we ask of you in Jesus' name to help everybody that's standing to discern and to know the fabrication from the enemy. And, Father, to take their 
soulic man with the spirit man into the heavenlies and recognize that you are God and you are over the fabrication. Father, bless all your people today with this knowledge. Help them to discern the fabrication. Bless them to stay calm, to walk by faith, and not by sight. Bless them, Father, with victory now over their own life in the name of Jesus to be able to reach into heavens and say, what I'm seeing is a fabrication. To God be the glory, I have the victory. Plant this in them and let this be in their thoughts and in their spirit from this day forward. We give you glory and praise and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name. And everyone said amen and amen. Give God a big praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated. Everybody get blessed today. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Everybody got blessed today. Yeah. You're going to apply that word. Yeah. If you stood up for the prayer, did you receive the prayer? Yeah. Amen. Amen. And amen. And if you ever want a lot of detail of an incredible story about fabrication and what God has done, you can talk to Pastor Gary. You can talk to Patricia. And have a wonderful week. Thank you, Lord. Say it with me. For the Lord, he is good and his mercy endure forever. Blessings were dismissed. You have won it all for me. I strive, we are healed. Eyes now past hands were free. Eyes blood were washed clean. And now we have the victory. And the power of sin is broken. Yes, he did. Uh, he has won. Yes, he has. It all. So every voice.